back to part two of the microphone stand build. Let's get right to the content. I'm not sure how to tell. Oh, there we go. Now we're back. Um, so it turns out that this hole is a half of an inch. Um, and I'm going to pile it with this, which is pretty close to three eighths. This is the hole in question. Got to figure out what thread pitch it is. Um, and it's probably going to be metric. So let's see. This looks like the right one. Yeah, sure enough. So that's an M6 by 1.0. And I'm not sure if I have that kind of tap. So, but then again, I'm never really sure about this box of taps. All these came unlabeled uh, many moons ago. That's a good thing. M6 by 1.0, which I believe is what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out, but that's M6 by 1.0, upside down. Um, and this is the M6 by 1.0 tap. Uh, and I'll probably have to get into one of my boxes to see what the correct pilot size is for that. I'm going to go set the, the drill bits, these ones, down by the mill. And I've referenced uh, this before, the black book. So let's figure out. Uh, let's see, those are torque conversion charts. There's blah, blah, blah threads. Blah, blah, blah taps. I might just Google search this because I'm not that bright. Ah, here we go. Uh, M4, M6 by 1.0. Major diameter, 6, yeah, whatever. 4, 4.773. Uh, and that says it's M6 by 1.0 is a number 8 drill bit, uh, which is 5 millimeter. So let's get in. To, and of course, the vice is in the way, right? Um, let me get you out of the way. Let me get the indicators out of the way. <clears throat> now, what did I say it was? I've already forgotten the story of my life. Uh, M6 by 1.0. M6 by 1.0 is a number 8. Uh, it's number 8. 166, is that right? Well, 
I sure hope so. I'm going to put this up here. Keep it out for reference sake. Um, and where's the M6? That's the M8. That's this one, right? Yep. And that is most definitely the correct size. So that will be for the tapping. Put this over here. We probably need to get the tap wrench out or a tap wrench out. So let's get the small tap wrench out. I do a lot of tapping. Uh, when I'm building other stuff. So, that's uh, gotta love the arthritis. Uh, one of the reasons that my shop is built the way it is. Okay. That's loosey goosey. I'll put you up on the keyboard because you need to go home when done don't want to forget you so that's an empty tap wrench uh, and here's our m6 by 1.0 which should fit in there quite comfortably that's right arthritis to heck with you buddy okay so when I get around to drilling that I'll be using this tap uh, okay so the set screw isn't long enough for this but I'm gonna go ahead and tap it this size anyway I'll get a longer bolt eventually <laughs> I just want to barely chamfer this. So loosely chamfer, in other words, which I will be using the fine uh, adjustment for right after I come down to the face of it. And that's chamfer. Because I don't feel like retramming the head of the vise uh, or the, this, uh, I'm not going to lift it up, which would probably be the most ideal way to do this. So I'm going to pull this off and tap it on the bench, which uh, I'll have to switch this camera for. But that's that's where we're at right now. <clears throat> okay. We're back. Now, where did I put the tap wrench? There it is. Uh, and I need my oil for this. So, lube this up real good. And lube the tap wrench up real good. And, and we go. So for years, uh, I would do this without the correct uh, drill size. Uh, 
so I'd end up with partial threads or too deep of threads or I'd snap a tap off um, and now that I have uh, better equipment I'm, I'm not used to it it's it's like what do, what do we do how does this how does this work why why is this stuff working correctly and I'm just not used to it um, and you know each time I upgrade equipment uh, there's a learning curve to it uh, and there's something to be said for learning things the wrong way uh, and nothing positive unfortunately uh, other than when you do finally take time to learn it the right way it takes a lot longer longer to unlearn the hard way um, doink, doink, doink. So there we go, we're through. And that should be the correct tap size. Now I don't know if I actually have any longer uh, bolts in this thread pitch, but we're gonna figure it out real quick. So, gotta set you over here so that you can go back where you live. But I'm gonna use some air here. So if you're a headset user, uh, you might want to duck. There we go. Uh, and let's see if we were remotely successful. but I don't think that was the right thread size. Uh, so whatever. Let's see uh, if I have any uh, hardware up here that'll work in this situation. That's just way too loose. Uh, how about this guy? Okay. Oh, this is typical in my shop like did I do it right did I not do it right like most of my taps are, are left over from garage sales and all the markings are worn off of them so it's up to the eyeball to sort out whether they're gonna work or not and you know 95% of the time they do but then there's the percentage of time that they don't so it's kind of like fight club we don't talk about it Ugh. most people don't like to talk about stuff that doesn't work but I ain't scared I'm not scared <laughs> I do like to tease myself a lot though um, I'm not sure if I have the right Thread patch. I, I may have to drill this out number seven and tap for quarter twenty. Uh, if I don't have the the right, uh, the corresponding uh, size, which should have been this size. which it clearly wasn't. So that begs the question, which frickin' size were you? Seeing as we, we don't know anymore, and we can't tell by, the, by reading the tap, because all the markings on the tap are gone. Hooray. Uh, these are quarter 20, right? That's a whole box of quarter 20. Um, and if I'm going to have a, a weird size, it's probably going to be 
in this box, right? Is that, that's the theory. If my organization has gone to course, which would also be weird. Looks like we're re-drilling to number seven and taking it out to quarter 20. Um, seeing as whatever size of tap that was, it's not the right set size. Maybe I can just, I don't think so, but at the very least, it's worth trying. surprised if I broke this tap doing this. But we didn't break the tap, which is a good thing. So that should be quarter 20, at least in theory. It should be quarter 20. So let's get that bugger out of there. Grateful I didn't have to drill because we drilled it at number five. Um, and it should have been for a, a quarter 20 should have been drilled to number seven and uh, it looks like put this tap I'm gonna put the quarter 20 tap wrench away and I should be able to come in here with a quarter 20 now Yep, and thread it right in, which is a good thing. So, now let's see if it works, which it does, and does this work the way it's supposed to? I can't imagine why it wouldn't. And there we go. All right, so now I suppose it's time to make a decision about where to put this thing. Uh, and again, it's, I think I'm just gonna stick it right back here. 
but I think I have to go down and, and drill a hole in the wood uh, with a half inch uh, drill bit which I still have handy uh, fortunately for me I'll just set that over there uh, and where, where did I put my driver it's up here yep so there's the driver um, and let me get the impact out which should also be up here somewhere and there's the impact so we'll put the impact over there uh, and see if we can make this situation work which it really needs to so I might have to move some stuff out of the way so Let's do that. Move the stuff out of the way that needs to be moved. Um, and let's see, there's my bolts, or my screws, whatever we're going to call them today, my fasteners, like whatever, uh, and the impact driver. get this out of the vise and set up in its much more permanent home. Uh, sorry not sorry camera. way we'll can put my quarter 20 t 
tap away. back in place where they belong set the battery charger over here where it belongs put the oil can so this happens every day I just put stuff away uh, what I am really happy about is that I have an articulating boom arm now that is out of the main workspace um, which is likely not a big deal to you, but it certainly is to me. Let me pause this so that we can get a, a full shot video. I hope you enjoyed this series. As brief as it was, please take a moment to like and subscribe if it suits you, and I'll see you on the next video.